Hi and welcome to Class Fit Sugar. I'm Ashley Joy and today I am bringing you the ultimate runner's guide to all things recovery. This episode is presented by 26.2 Team Milk. Drinking chocolate milk post-run can help you refuel, repair tired muscles, and even prevent muscle soreness. Let's get into it and ease our way into this one. All right, we're gonna start by doing glute bridges, head down to the ground, and lay flat on your back. Feet are gonna be slightly wider than hip width apart. We're gonna do a tempo of one up, holding three, two, one, and down, four, three, two, one. And I want you to exhale at the top, hold for three seconds, and back down, four, three, two, one, and push back up. And I know this is a strength move, but it also is a great recovery move because it helps strengthen glutes and hamstrings, which can also alleviate knee pain and shin splints, okay? Amen to that. Push it up, hold, three, two, one, and down. Four, three, two, one, and push up. Hey, Sierra, what number are we on? Six. Hey, yeah. that's right, we have four more. And push it up and hold, and back down. Four, three, two, one, push up, and down. Four, three, two, one, up and hold. Down. Last one. Two Push. more. Oh, or, no, go ahead. It's fine. Such That's a trainer. Fine. Such a trainer can never count, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> down. All right, last one. Push it up and hold. Three, two, one, and down. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and extend Woo. those arms out. Come up, and we're gonna go into clam shells. We're gonna do twelve on each side. Pick one side. Laying on your side, you can be up on to your forearm. Your knees and ankles are together, and I want you to think about pushing your hips forward and back down. Ready? Up and back down. There it is. Up and hold for two seconds and back down. As you know, or maybe you don't, we are targeting our hip adductors and abductors. Push up. And it can also help prevent, haha, -ha, knee pain and IT band issues. All these fun things that happen when you move your body out in the world and start running. It's not really bad, it's just that we have to do these small things to help our body get stronger and adapt to the movement. And again, you guys, we can do this as a warm up and a cool down. Back down. What number are we at? Last one. Yeah, back down. Now we're gonna switch sides. Because you can't do one side without the other. We run with both parts of our bodies, all of our body, and ready. <laughs> and push up, open up, and back down. And remember, even though we're pushing our hips forward, we still need to engage our core. Don't get lazy and sloppy and push your stomach out. You wanna practice great posture and being aware of your entire body while you're running and when you're doing your drills. That's how you become in sync with your body and you'll know, hey, I'm off, I'm tired, I'm running amazing, I need to take a break because running is such an internal thing, even though it's extremely physical, it's a very personal moment, just with you and yourself. All right, up, hold, one, two, and back down. Beautiful. Up, our ninth. Oh, we got one more? Yeah. All right, thank you. Up, hold, <laughs> and back down. All right, we're gonna be moving on to toe curls. So, you can, Get on a chair, or if you have your beautiful step, grab a towel, you're gonna put your toes on the towel at the edge, and you're going to grab and pull all the way until the towel 
is all bunched. Now you can move your feet, it doesn't have to be perfect, but doing this allows all these little muscles in your feet, and we're gonna just keep going at it. You're gonna repeat it as many times as you can within this minute of time that we have. Do you guys feel? I yes. do, I'm struggling. You may catch a cramp. Exactly. I'm struggling. You guys grab some how water. Much. <laughs> all the little muscles in your feet that we kind of don't use sometimes because we're wearing like hard shoes or we don't, you know, cool down barefoot, which is a great thing to do as well. This is pretty much AKA cooling down barefoot, right? We're not running, but we're doing this. And it can help prevent and treating plantar fasciitis, okay? So, whew, mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> All right, good job. Now we're gonna get on to the step and we're gonna do heel drops. I'm gonna show you first. You're gonna plant one foot on, and the other is just gonna have the ball of your foot, and you're gonna literally drop your heel. If you have a step, you can do it, bending that front leg, and just take three deep breaths in, and exhale. Stretching your calves is so important. I feel like people just Sometimes don't do it. You know, we're always targeting the big muscles, the quads and the glutes and arms. Go ahead and switch. This very simple stretch can help you and prevent any Achilles tendon, you know, injuries. Um, you don't want to be too tight. You don't want to be too loose. But this will let you know what is tight. Deep breath. I absolutely love running because you get such in tune with your body. All right, head down. We're gonna do our quad stretch. Go ahead and grab either your ankle or your foot. Keep your knee as close as you can to your other knee and bring your heel as close as you can to your butt. Roll back those shoulders, big chest, deep breath in and exhale. Three breaths here, and then we're gonna switch sides. Last breath. Go ahead and switch. All right, deep breath in. And exhale. If you fall off balance, that's fine. Get back on when you're ready. Deep breath in. Exhale. It's better to flex or point the foot. Last one. Honestly, whatever feels good for you. I feel like I'm getting like a small little cramp in my foot, so I kept it flexed. And we're gonna start back at the top. We're gonna get back into glute bridges. Now that you are more aware of what we're doing, let go of any stress and expectations. Push those glutes up, exhale. Hold and back down, lower nice and controlled. Good, and back up. And lower back down. Up and exhale. Lower back down. And up and back down. And back up. And lower back down. Push up, squeeze those glutes, and back down. Push up, and back down. Are you still counting for me? That was our eighth, this is our ninth. <laughs> I'm glad she's counting. And back, I know, I was so, so relaxed. All right, last one, push up. And back down. All right, clam shells. Pick which side that you want to do. Ankles are together, knees are together, shoulder and elbow are aligned and we're gonna come up, push out, hold for two and back down. There we go, let's go. And 
And during this time, I just caught myself being all like tense and had my fist in a ball. No, relax those fingers and back down. Exhale at the top and back down. Beautiful, up and back down. And back down. And back down. It's nine. All right. So this is ten. Uh, one Just last joking. One, last one. <laughs> Trainers can never count, right? And back up. And back down. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Ankles, knees are together. Shoulders, elbow align. Hands on hips. Relax that hand and exhale at the top. And back down, beautiful. Sometimes during a workout, you're just like, your heart's racing, you're thinking about how much time do I have left? But now as we're cooling down and we're recovering, it's your time to, you know, have some moments with yourself. And also thank yourself and thank your body for doing what it's, you have asked it to do. We got one more? One more. Hey, there we go. <laughs> and back down. All right, let's go ahead and get in that chair or up onto our step, grab your towel, and crunch away. Dig those toes in, engage all those little muscles in your feet, and as soon as you get your towel, whether you just have a small hand towel, you might put some cotton balls down, whatever it is that you have to do. It could be a t-shirt, nothing fancy. You can make it long ways and really take your time. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, what did I do this one for? <laughs> I think I I'm underestimated like, this one a little bit. You did? It's real. Yeah, man. Uh -huh. I used to do this all the time. So good. Because I had shin splints in college, so. All right. Try the long way. Okay, you try the long way. I'm going back to the short way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sticking. <laughs> Just a little bit tight, but, oh, that's harder. All right, we're gonna do heel drops. Ugh. All right, I'm done. Go ahead and stand on to our step. One foot planted, the other one right on the edge. Drop that heel, bend that knee that's stabilizing. I'm gonna go a little bit closer to the edge. Get a really good stretch in. Three breaths here. One more breath. Go ahead and switch. Drop that heel as much as you can. Deep breath and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get in Last stretch, quad stretch. Remember, grabbing your ankle or your foot, bringing it as close as you can to your butt and your knees as close as you can together in the front. Round those shoulders back, big chest, and relax and breathe. Find that point that's not moving in your house or the gym. Focus on it. Last breath. Let's 
go ahead and switch, shake it out if you need to. Move those feet around. Knees close together, shoulders down and back, bringing that heel as close as you can to your butt. Deep breath in and exhale. Two more. Last one. I feel like I want to like, yay, but we're such in recovery know, mode. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. thank you so much for being part of yes. this class. And thank you to 26.2 Team Milk for sponsoring this workout. Class Fit Sugar, thank you, and I'll see you next time.